Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Yahweh, for your goodness and your mercy, O Lord, that endures forever, Father. We just enter into your presence, O Lord God, with thanksgiving and praise in our hearts for another day. Because it's by the power of your word, O Lord, that you have awakened our spirit and our souls this morning to give you praise. So we thank you, Father. We thank you, Yahweh, that you woke us up, O oh Lord, in our right frame of mind. With our mind stayed on you, Lord, you said that you would give us peace. So, Father, we have peace today. And we walk in peace, O oh Lord, and we share that peace with others that we come in contact with. We thank you for your word on today, O oh Lord God. Father, that this topic is that we are to choose the way of wisdom. We ask, oh Father, that you would give us understanding. Illuminate our hearts and our mind to comprehend what the Spirit is saying to us individually, the church. We thank you, Father, 
Father, and if we have committed any sins this morning on our way to work or today, O oh Lord God, by word, thought, or deed, Father, we ask for forgiveness right now. We ask, O oh Father, that you would wash us in the blood of your Son, Yeshua, Jesus Christ. That you would wash us from all unrighteousness, Lord. Wash our minds with the word. And when we get in the word, Lord, that you would wash our minds. For it's by the word that we are changed. We thank you, Father. That our soul and our spirit is lining up with your word. And that you are opening up our ears that we can recognize your voice. The true voice of the all awesome living God we thank you Father in the name of your son Yeshua we cover this line in the blood of Jesus Father we bind up every spirit of, of, of distraction every spirit in the airwaves Lord that will come against this teaching this lesson today Father on wisdom Father, we thank you, Father God, that you're setting angels to camp round about us and that we are being blessed by your word on today. We thank you, Father. Bless the hearers, O oh Lord God. Minister to their hearts by your Holy Spirit, the Ruah HaKadosh, the true spirit. We thank you, Father. In the name of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, we pray. Amen and amen.
your hands together if you love them if you love them if you love them I want to, to God to glory to God he is amazing words cannot even hallelujah we cannot even find the words for what God has done in our lives individually he is amazing God Glory to God. Good morning to you, beloved. Welcome once again to Women of Grace, a voice in the wilderness. I wanted to play that song on Monday's teaching, but I couldn't find it. Hallelujah. But I found it today. And this particular song, indescribable, has been in my spirit all this week. And I was on my job, hallelujah, Monday. And it was real. It was all up in my spirit and I had to play it because God is amazing. Hallelujah. He, she said, while we were in our mess, hallelujah, he still loved us. Glory to God. While we're yet in our mess, he still loves us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And even today, beloved, God is trying to draw his people unto the bosoms of his heart where they can experience the true love of God. He loves us, beloved. When we are unfaithful to him, hallelujah, and they call that spiritual adultery, Yahweh is still faithful. Hallelujah. When we turn our backs on him, he don't he doesn't turn his back on us. He's still with us. And he sends his holy spirit 
to woo us back unto him God is amazing God is amazing hallelujah you may be in a place where it's not God's will for your life but I'm here to tell you beloved God still loves you the word of God said that he is married to the backslider he said that he would never leave you nor forsake you but he's giving you the choice to choose to come back home to him hallelujah and we need to pray as for, as saints hallelujah those that are already in the fold in the bosom of the father we need to pray for those that have hallelujah somehow fallen out of the fold or or went down the wrong path or got lost we need to pray that God would draw them back home hallelujah to him because hallelujah someone was praying for us a great great grandmother or great great grandfather was praying for our bloodline hallelujah for us to come to know him and and our grandparents if they were walking with the Lord have had a covenant with God because he said in his word that if one in the household gets saved God promised to save the whole entire household so it, it just don't begin with you it started somewhere way back when when your grandfather or your grandmother made a covenant with God that he would save their great great grandchildren their children's children hallelujah that's how God is amazing he is amazing beloved we are hallelujah on in our manuals knowing God's voice lesson 7 part 3 knowing God's voice lesson 7 part 3 uh, Monday we dealt with on Monday key is in all your ways acknowledge him and he has promised to direct your path the, pro the promise behind all the keys is that he will direct your path but we first must we first must trust him we must not lean to our own understanding and we must acknowledge him in all our ways hallelujah and he has promised to direct our paths today we are talking about choose the way of wisdom thank you father glory to God let's turn our swords turn your swords to Hebrews chapter 5 hold your place at verse 11 Hebrews chapter 5 and verse, I'm sorry, verse 12. Hold your place at verse 12. Glory to God. I'm going to have to turn my timer off for my, um, for my uh, tablet because it goes out. And then I got to point, punch in the keys to get back in it. But let us go on. Father, we just thank you for your word on today. We thank you for the prayer.